Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Juliet. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> Happy sunny Sunday. And today we are celebrating the birthday of Juliet Gordon Lowe. Her birthday was October 31st, 1860, and she was actually the first Girl Scout. When Juliet was growing up in the late 1800s, she climbed trees, swam in rivers, and hiked on tall cliffs with her cousins and friends. She sewed costumes and put on plays. She sketched and painted and reached out to help other kids who were less fortunate. Juliet, or Daisy, as her friends and family called her, knew that most girls her age weren't so lucky. They didn't have the opportunities to play, create, and enjoy outdoor activities the way she did. When Juliet became an adult, she set out to do something to change that. Juliet made history by founding the first national organization to bring girls from all backgrounds into the out of doors. Her group was open to girls from all races and ethnicities, and even welcomed those with disabilities at a time when they usually were excluded. That group was the Girl Scouts of the USA, and thanks to her vision and determination, the Girl Scouts still do all of these things and more today. In honor of celebrating our first Girl Scouts birthday and to celebrate all Girl Scouts, I was supposed to attend the Girl Scout National Convention in Florida this past week, but unfortunately, due to COVID, it was postponed but I did get to participate in a fun local scavenger hunt that was set up for our local North River Service Unit troops. We spent the last weeks figuring out clues, making things, going to different places around our city, and taking lots of pictures. And our troop even participated in a virtual costume party on Halloween. See if you can guess the answer to this clue. My mom couldn't. These big goods are round with a hole in the middle, but they are not donuts. You could choose a box of bite size, a tower of minis, a full size, or an extra large stacked tier set. Know what it is? I'll give you a minute or a second. It's a bunt cake from our local Nothing Bunt Cake store. Some of the fun activities we did this week were decorating a hat. Julia didn't use ribbons and flowers to decorate a hat like other girls. She was innovative and used her creativity to decorate with carrots and parsley instead. I decorated my Barbie hat using GGBs, candy, and sour belts on the brim. Julia excelled at many things, including tennis, swimming, horseback riding, and art. So I took a picture of me in a swimsuit with a tennis racket, horseback riding helmet, and gloves holding a paintbrush. In 2012, the year of the 100th birthday of Girl Scouts, President Obama awarded Juliet Gordon Lowe the Presidential Medal of Freedom. One of our scavenger hunt activities was to submit a photo of us ourselves with a ribbon, medal, or award that we are proud to have earned. I submitted a picture of me with a student of the month award given to me by my colony teacher. My favorite teacher. Juliet once sold her own string of pearls to keep Girl Scouts running. I took a picture of me wearing a string of pearls I made out of mini marshmallows. In 1953, the house of Juliet's birthplace was saved from the threat of demolition when Girl Scouts of the USA purchased it. In true Girl Scout style, Girl Scouts led a major fundraising effort. Girls from around the world raised nickels, dimes, and dollars for Daisy, putting together bake sales, community fairs, dinners, and fashion shows to restore the birthplace to its original splendor. So, our scavenger hunt challenge was to have a virtual fashion show at home with our family. Other fun challenges were to dress like an old lady, make Halloween treats such as spooky spiders, chocolate bark, and even a Day of the Dead Halloween skeleton veggie platter. Lastly, we completed some philanthropic challenges like donating blankets and towels to the Castaic Animal Shelter. My dog Finn, not this one, over there, was adopted from there. We donated some groceries to the Santa Clarita Valley Food Pantry and even spent some time picking up trash at the local city park. When Juliet died in 1927, there was about 168,000 Girl Scouts in the United States. Now, there are approximately 3.4 million girls and adults actively involved in Girl Scouts, and I am one of them. Hope you all had a great night celebrating Halloween and also celebrating Juliet Gordon Lowe's birthday. Can't wait to see you guys next Sunday. Love ya. Bye. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, now, now there goes the continuity.